What up, what up, Winboys here. And I'm gonna quickly show you how we can get a first person camera inside of UEFN. So to get started, I'm gonna come up here where we have this little cube with the plus symbol. I'm gonna left click on this, and then I'm gonna come down to volumes. Now at the very top, you should see blocking volume. So I'm gonna left click on this. Let me drag out my details panel a little bit just because this is super easy. Like it's literally one click. So down here where it says collision, we wanna to go to collision presets. Then we wanna look for Fortnite camera only, which is right here. I know it's a little bit hard. I wish they had like a search function on here, but just look for Fortnite water. It's a shorter word. Then go down four, you have Fortnite camera only. So you left click on this. And then right here, inside of my outliner, I wanna make sure I have blocking volume selected. And let's maybe come over here to my details panel. Let's zero it out. We can actually double click on it so we can see exactly where we're at. So this is the volume. And anything that steps foot inside this volume is gonna be triggered by anything we do over here. So what I'm gonna do is actually scale this up by like 30. Maybe let's even do it larger. So let's do 50 because I wanna have it engulf my entire map here. I don't wanna make it so that when we walk in, it's gonna activate it. I wanna be a first person camera right off the start. So you can see right now, if I scroll back, you can see my volume is very large. So anything that's inside this volume, is gonna be a first person camera. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna launch the session and we're gonna play it through. Now with our game started up, you can see now we're inside of first person mode. So all I have to do is move around. You can see we're in first person, hold down the shift to run, and we don't have it in third person. We're just looking at it at a first person perspective. So you can see the possibilities that this opens up for your gameplay, because now we can make some really cool environments and have some cool gameplay going on. And it just gives Fortnite an entirely different feel, which I think is really neat. So if you wanna make your Fortnite map look totally different than everybody else, I don't see a lot of people really doing this right now. So it was easy as just going up to your block and volume, looking for Fortnite, no camera, putting it aside your scene and it was easy as that so hopefully this tip helped you out if you want some more tips like this make sure you follow me here on my channel Wimbush creative and until next time stay fresh keep building and i'll catch you in the next video i'll see you soon take care